Welcome! Please pause video to view written information. The kit arrives pre-assembled. Start by removing the split rings from each assembly. Video was shot on a two-post lift for clarity. A floor jack used under the receiver will create working space between the frame and axle. Right side installation is shown for clarity. The process is the same for both sides. Remove bump stop by pulling at an angle and wipe off any debris. Beware, GM utilizes an undercoating that remains soft, sticky, and hard to get off your hands and tools. Remove the brake line bolt from the axle weldment. The bolt is an M8 1.25 by 20 millimeter with a 13 millimeter head. Pre-route airline up through frame weldment and out the back side. Place assembly on axle and completely insert airline into the push to connect fitting. Airlines are pre-cut straight and have a black protective cap installed to aid routing and keep the line clean. Remove after installation. Install split rings and snug the six serrated nuts so assembly can still rotate. The wide side of the frame must face inboard and be parallel with the axle. Lower truck enough to install axle mount. Mount was pre-aligned in torque prior to shipment. Install three quarter inch by one inch long support bolts and the M8 1.25 by 20 millimeter brake line bolt and torque all to approximately 15 foot pounds. Torque the six frame mount carriage bolts to approximately 15 foot pounds. Route airlines to the rear and install into the push to connect T fitting. Secure along the chosen path with zip ties. The air fill line can be placed at license plate, inside the box, or plastic step by drilling a 5 16 hole for the valve. Placement can be anywhere you prefer, but please ensure lines are secured away from exhaust, suspension, and spare tire operation. Fill system to 100 PSI and leak check connections with soapy water and double check all fasteners for securement.